back folks another episode of Homestead Fabricator I got the split the ash from the last video well I only did a little bit of it but it's two tanks worth of fuel in the 550 XP I got in my hand in way and the um, log splitter is warming up and uh, forgot my tripod again, but this time I don't have anyone to go get it. I don't feel like driving, you know, two and a half miles from one way to go get it. So I'm going to prop up the phone the best I can, and we'll just have to uh, deal with the difficulties. But at least I'll get a more of a splitter level action. It'll be more, you know, like tailgate level. So let's get to it. This is what I've gotten split so far. 
And that's a good face cord. I got, oh you know, shoot, three or four more face cords sitting on the ground. Made a good dent in it because the pile came out to like here. So that made a good dent. I'm going to have to move the splitter closer and get split more. But now I got to fill the racks. I can't do the filming. Uh, you saw the video of that. I couldn't do it very good. I held, had the phone propped up between a couple bottles of Gator and use this to keep the phone from sliding that way. Screwing the footage. So, you know, that didn't work out all that great. I couldn't win and got the tripod, like I said, but... Anyway, uh, this fresh ash, listen to this. This feels a little damp on the surface, but give that a day or so. Yeah. That's even better. Listen to that. That's the load that log truck owner and operator John brought me. This stuff's pretty much ready to go. Mix it with a little... Uh, you know, slab wood, I'll, I'll be doing that for the 4th of July. Just to be able to have more kindling for people to ready to burn. Uh, to help get it going, because this stuff is... So, there'd be a few small pieces, like this in here, that could work as kindling. But then, mix it up for the big weekends, and then they have something to get the fires going initially. And then, this stuff will burn. Even though it's not checked, because I just cut this yesterday. It's... A lot of this is ready to burn. Just give it a couple of days next. Oh, well, definitely by next weekend. You know, that's only five days away. That'll be more than ready to burn. There you go, folks. That's all that's left of the wood I split. Filled up to two racks. That's 0.8 face cord. Then this will be nearly a face cord and didn't take me that much time at all to split. So. Yep, there's my hand in the way again. I gotta watch what I'm doing. In a couple of weeks, there'll be some big news coming out for the wood yard. Well, more like a, a special guest. It's special to me because you know, I highly respect this person. And we're going to be having a, quite a bit of fun out in the wood yard. So until next time, folks, take care. Get out there and do something. A little extra bonus footage. Well, you're wondering how much wood I cut out of two tanks of the 550 XP. That's the second truck load, so that's two face cords. It's heaped up, that's more full than it was the first load. And what I have on the ground here is probably another half cord, so you figured at least three full face cords out of two tanks of fuel, at least.